Hello YouTube, this is Tanya and welcome to my channel. I just want to take time to talk about this topic that many people, including myself, have always wondered. Does the narcissist take pleasure in hurting us? I want to give you the answer. But you already know it. You know what your gut is telling you. Um, they do it because it's entertaining to them. They do not have the normal emotions like we do. They have um, no conscience um, when they do something wrong. They have no remorse. They have no empathy. Um, so they, they become bored very easily. So when that happens, um, they need something to entertain them. And unfortunately, their entertainment is hurting people. They can't love others or connect with others emotionally. So all they can do is play games, play games, lie, hurt, all the negative emotions. That's what they do. They have wired themselves that way. Um, they need to have the power and the control because see something happened in their childhood that made them snap. Now, many of us, we had bad, some of us had bad experiences in childhood, and, and I understand that, but many of us did not go to the dark side and say, you know what? I think I just want to hurt people. I want to hurt people for pleasure. No one's never going to do what they did to me and make me feel so, so horrible and bad about myself again. I'm going to get them before they get me, and they don't even know that I'm doing this. So power control people, it's about power control when they were a child and whatever the, the caregiver, the parent did to them, um, it basically destroyed them. And instead of them coming out of that and proving them wrong, being positive and being positive and loving, um, still they decide to become a narcissist, a sociopath, a psychopath. Um, that's where the power and control comes back in. They make promises to us and then they love to break it, break the promises and watch us how we just fall apart and cry or cuss them out. We're showing them all kinds of emotions. They hate the love emotion. They love it when we cry, cuss them out, seek. They like it when they see um, confusion in our face. They like it even when they start drama mellow drama they love it when they start the drama and they don't say nothing and all they're doing they're eating it up and looking around like oh look how this is playing out oh i did that look at me my evil self yes they're straight evil okay they do take pleasure in hurting us they watch what drama they have caused they have poor impulse control and no meaningful motivation to follow you on anything, okay? They think they are superior. They think, I was just looking at, um, what's that movie with my little girl? I was just looking at, um, um, I think the one of the series, one of the episodes about Moses. And it was so funny because Pharaoh, not old Pharaoh, but new Pharaoh, the one that couldn't stand Moses, he was like, I am God. You know, that is what the narc... <laughs> I have to laugh because people have told me I use that as my narc voice. I am God. <laughs> That's exactly what they think. I am God. You should worship me. You know, I should do a cartoon on that. But anyway, um, they think they're God. They want you to worship them. They want you to think that they do no wrong. Um, They think we're silly because we have emotions and we care. They think we're weak because we care. Um, and they view their targets as fools. They really laugh at us, people. But at the same time as they're laughing at us, because once again, they love hurting us. The same time that they're laughing at us, they envy us. They love us. They want what we got. But guess what? They don't want to work for what we have. They don't want to work and be nice and really have real meaning behind it. They don't want to work and love people, be nice, 
do nice things for people. They're like, I can't get nobody back. I can't backstab them. I can't pretend to like them and then take their money. I can't pretend to like them and have a place to stay. I can't pretend to like them and get some booty on the side. No, you got to be nice. You got to be Jesus nice. And they don't like that. That demon inside them that they have decided to come, um, come together with, has made that fool, because that's what a narcissist is, it's a fool, has made that fool to believe that um, being evil, being backstabbing, being um, um, emotionally abusive in a, um, individual towards the people that love them, really love them, is a no-go. See, we really had love for them. But see, they weren't truthful to us. See, they played the game. They showed us ourselves. We fell in love with ourselves. Every time we say, well, we're looking for, like for example, I'm looking for a, a man that's, that's willing to, um, to love me and want to have a family and want to have fun and enjoy life and... Oh, yeah, 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 I'm that way. I'm that way. I'm the man for you, baby. That's some crockable. Everything he said, he was just listening to you, and he became that. He going to do everything he did, love bombing stage, to get you. And then when he gets bored of your tail, now doing this whole love bombing stage, he's still going to start playing mind games with you because he still got to see, are you still good enough, and are you going to play, play with him? Yeah. Now, once again, do narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths love to hurt us? What are the answers, people? Yes, they do. It's because it's entertaining to them. They feel like they have to have the power and control, and they always have strategies in their minds. I just wanted to let you know that with a quick video. Hope it was entertaining and educational for you. And remember, reclaiming your life will take time. And that is why I'm here for you. You need somebody to talk to. You need somebody to just vent to. Let me know. If you have some concerns, some questions, um, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And until next time, bye.